are Ashton and Arturo. We are based out of Dallas, Texas, and we are reporting to you from the one and only Cheriton, the home of Dallas Bachata Festival. We both have some wonderful memories here, and we cannot wait to see you guys next year at this place. But this year, we are so happy that we're still able to make the event happen virtually. So in just a second, we'll meet you in the studio for some elegant shines. Mm. Yeah. Be ready. <laughs> Hey guys, we're at the studio now, ready for our elegant shines workshop. Thank you so much for joining. The piece we have prepared for you guys today involves footwork, musicality, movement technique, which is where the elegance comes in, as well as projection. Yes, so let's just take a look. Yeah. Vamos. Okay, that whole eight count, just that eight count. Yes. Five, 
with it from the beginning with you guys. And then we will go ahead and move on. Yeah? Here we go. I was going to say, feel free to ask this question, but not an option right now. You can <laughs> send us a message. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Go ahead. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Five, and six, and seven, and eight, and two, and three, and four, and six, and seven, and. Yes? Good. Moving on then. Now, from here, once I go into a passe for the last time, going. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and front on your foot, just extend your foot and whatever it lands, put it there, yeah? Then from here, I'm um, a little bit um, twist, twisted, so my upper body from my lower body is disassociated, yeah? So from here, this serves as a threat to spin on my left foot, and that way from here, I'm gonna point with my right foot next, yes? So this is gonna be a little tricky because it's more musical, so it's very fast. Now, we're going to give you two choices. So the first one is obviously just to uh, go into passe and then prep and just turn your one foot, right? Then from here, a quarter before you finish the turn, meaning you're going to turn three quarters, then you're going to start leave your upper body there and let your lower body go forward so that way you can point the direction that you're going. From here, you're going to step with your right, shift your weight, and you're going to spin twice. If you want, now, here's where the choices come. So you can spin on one foot if you're a good spinner, meaning going, uh, just connect your right foot, sorry, your left foot, into a uh, coupe, or passe, up to you, yeah? Or just bring it together to your right foot, yeah? Or the other one, I, I would say the easiest one, will be going uh, from five, then going a step, then turn, then prep, then turn twice, but now you can do a step, a step, a step, yeah? As long as your left foot is free for to start on one, you'll be good, yeah? So here the music will reset, yeah? And we're gonna go into one, see? So let's try it again uh, from the beginning, why not? Yeah, here we go, going five, six, seven, ah, one, two, three, and four, and six, and seven, and eight, and two, and three, and four, and six, and seven, and, yes, so and. Then you're going to start bringing it down on eight, so you can land on one turn, yes. Um, so you're going to just think of turning as fast as you can. One so go in, one guy. Very important is that you spot, yes? Meaning, your head will be the last thing to go, first thing for right. So that way your body knows where it's gonna come or end next, yeah? So from there, so you go one, then set the foot, and then keep going. It's one turn or one motion, just to slowing it down, then two, and starting with your neck, yeah? Um, as for the hands, you can go uh, just regular Shanae turns to go and step, collect, open, and then you can bring them in to your waist for my fellas or for the ladies on the side, on the waist, whatever feels comfortable for you. But it's very important that you adjust your hands to the speed. Yes, meaning if it's slow, it'll be a little wider. If it's faster, then closer. Yes, or tighter. See? Very good. And also to mention, this um, little, these little turns right here, it's a break in the music. So while we're counting uh, the steps, the, we have a four count on music, and then we're going to start again on one. So yes. don't let it take you out. See, but you all don't hear with the music. So every, all these steps right now, it might be confusing or a little complicated for you, because um, we're doing it with counts. But once we hear the music, it'll actually take over, hopefully, <laughs> and we'll be good, yeah? So. Let's go ahead and try it with you.
much time on this, so you can just whoop, rewind a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. So now the styling for it, we have just a couple of pieces, and this goes as projection and elegance, like how you control your body. Yeah. So obviously we're trying to make it as easy as possible for you to understand at first, but then we can add the layers on top of it. Yeah? So here we go. So we're gonna go in one. Make sure you push up kind of like a swivel. Go in one, two, three, and four. Make sure that when, when you do that, you just have to see your upper body from your lower body. Meaning your upper body should be always leading. Yes? Make sure also to be on dancer's position. Do not be straight. Relax your knees. Yes? Engage your body. Yeah? So now you can go push up, push up, cha, cha, cha. Yes? And do not be so stiff going. Ta, 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 ta. Yeah? So it's make sure the hips. you all the hips. Get the fluidity that you want. Yes? So, anyways, with that being said, moving on, once we go one, two, three, and four, this is a very slow, intimate moment with yourself, yeah? <laughs> so make sure that you accelerate and then slow down, yeah? So what you're gonna do once you set four, as soon as you stop four, I'm gonna initiate a movement that it will start from my torso and my shoulders will go down, then my elbows out, then wrist, and then last but not least, hands, yes? So make sure that you keep the energy, and at the same time, my foot, my right foot is gonna go into a passe. This is a very, like, let's try it with council out. We go in, one, two, three, and boom. Like a very breathable moment, yeah? And having a good posture, good um, projection to where you're going, where you're facing, that will make it much more different, much more elegant. And anyway, that's, that's, my personal yeah. opinion, you could think differently, right? And you're in every right to do so. Yes? But that is what, to me, makes it elegant. That control of the steps going from slow to quick. Yeah? So, let's try again and then move on. Go five, six, seven, and up. One, two, three, and boom. Yes? And that is your five. Then, from here, going and six, and seven, then, and once you go, and you're gonna close your hands in, and then once you open A, you're gonna start closing with your um, left foot, and your hands will go out as your foot comes in, gradually, at the same time. Yes? So if you wanna look at it, going and, and, six, and, seven, and. Yes? Yeah, almost like you're opening something as your foot comes in, and your hands go out an optical illusion, yes? So <laughs> make sure to keep your um, upper body always engaged. Even if you are like uh, forward, make sure that you don't bend like this. So make sure that you're falling down, sorry, going down, but your torso goes up, yeah? So even if I'm relaxing the knees, going one, two, three, and four, and six, and seven, and eight, yes? Always that opposite pole that I need, yeah? So with that, mind, but with that being said, let's try it again with music so you can know what I'm talking about and try to feel it with the music. This time, we're not gonna count, yeah? Here we go. Remember, after the next
purely 
musical, musical. Yes. So on this last eight count, we're not even gonna bother in trying to find the counts. So we're just gonna give you the hit so you guys can challenge yourselves and put it with the music. Which I think you guys got it. Yeah. They got it. They got it. They got it. They got it.
Then move the guitar, yes. uh, the whole thing. It will be good. Yes? Hey! From the very beginning, we're going. Five, six, seven, up. One, two, three, and four. And six, and seven, and eight. And two, and three, and four. And six, and seven, and one. And one, two. guys enjoyed this workshop that it was useful to you we would love to see some videos of you trying it and doing it at home that yeah. will be amazing yeah post it to your Instagram stories tag us at Ashton and Arturo and even if you don't post it still follow us show some love come on <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um, just to end the video we want to give a huge thank you to yes. George Elizondo for putting this event together we love you, bro. Thank you so much. And um, stay tuned for next year. Yeah. yeah so yeah, get sure. your tickets, support, show some love, and see you on the dance floor next yeah. time.